Hi, this is Connie from PixalityDesign.com, and I've been getting some questions recently about how to style your blog post page or some different variations of ways that you can style it. And specifically, we're talking about someone who's been blogging for a while, like Janet here, who has more than a handful of blog posts, and the default styling of her blog page just stacks each post right on top of each other. So you have to scroll down through all the different posts to see even the titles of the other posts. This is great when you're first starting out blogging because it fills up the page pretty quickly. And even if you only have a couple posts that no one can tell just by clicking on your blog page that you're brand new to blogging. So this is how most people start out. Just get a couple posts up um, so everyone can see them. But once you've been blogging for a while and you have um, you know, a handful or more of blog post titles, you probably want a little easier way for people to be able to see what the topics of your blog posts are so they can pick and choose the ones that they want to read instead of just having to see and scroll through the most recent one. So we're going to show you how to do this in Squarespace using summary blocks. So what we're the kind of look we're going for here, and this is my blog, which is why I got asked this question, is um, you can tell they, these are all my different blog posts. So I've got an image associated with them and I've just got the title showing. So if you click on the title of the blog post, you'll see the full post and you can read it. And then you can even down at the bottom of the page, you can scroll. Is it down there? You can scroll right or left and you can scroll through the different posts right there. But the advantage to your readers of um, a display like this is that they can scroll through all the blog posts and they can decide which ones that they want to read and click on them and read them instead of having to see the most recent ones. So we do this with a summary block in Squarespace. So let me show you what that looks like. The first thing you'll notice when, if you're looking at the pages panel over here on the left side is that my blog, that's actually the blog that's in my main navigation, is a regular page. And we'll look a little closer there. You can see the little icon. It's just a regular page icon with the little rectangle with the folded down corner. It just means a plain old regular page in Squarespace. And it's a page that I've named blog. Um, I still have an actual blog page. If you scroll down to the not link section, this is what you'll probably recognize if you've got the same setup that Janet does, is you've got a blog with the little A icon next to it. And that means that you can click into that blog page. And if you've been blogging in Squarespace, you'll recognize this. This is where you have all your different blog posts and where you actually add those posts. And if I just had this page up in my navigation, this is how my blog would look. Again, we've got all the blog posts just stacked on top of each other. So this is where I post my new blog posts, but it's down in my not link section down there. And then I have a page up in my main navigation, a regular page that's just called blog that we're going to add the blog post in the layout that we want want it to be in. So let's look into this page. If you click ed edit on the page content, you see I have one thing and one thing only on this entire page and it's a summary block. So if you go to an insertion point on that blank page and you scroll down, you'll see this area underneath the galleries that's called summary and these are different summary blocks. So if you choose any one of these, you'll get something that looks like this. So I'll choose the grid one. And we'll just click into this one that I already have. So when you add a summary block, you'll get a little pop-up that looks like this. The first thing you're going to do under content is choose where you want it to pull the information from. So you can make this a product summary block. If you have products in a shop, you can choose to pull it from your product listings. Or if you have multiple blogs, you can choose which blog to pull it from. This one, remember I actually had that blog labeled blog. I have another blog page that's for my portfolio, but this one I'm gonna choose the actual blog page on. And then we're gonna click layout at the top. And this gives you another option to change the different ways that the summary blocks um, get displayed. This is a grid where I have here. The list is probably the most different and it'll show a photo here on the left and then the, the title there on the right. Um, carousel and wall just look different based on if you have different size photos in there. Um, let's go back to the grid because that's what I use. Aspect ratio ratio is going to be the size or the dimensions of your photo, your thumbnail image that goes along with each blog post. So I have mine set at square, um, but you could, if you uploaded different pictures, you could choose. Um, the auto is going to not crop the photo at all. So if you have different orientations of photos uploaded for your blog post, it's going to make them look kind of like a masonry wall where they're all kind of different, kind of like Pinterest. 
Um, anything below that, though, is going to crop all of them to the same size. So it just depends the look if you want. If you want them uniform, if you want them kind of all mi mixed matched. The column width, by changing this, this is going to change how many um, blog posts are shown across a row. You can, if you decrease that, um, it's going to add a bunch more. Um, here, I'll just do that really quick. Here we go. There we go. So we decrease the column width. So we're saying each um, blog page, we're going to decrease it. So we want more in a row. Let's put that back to where I had it, somewhere right around there. And then the gutter width is another option you have for the gutter width is the in between, the white space in between those blocks. Um, so you can change just um, how much space you want in between those. Okay, um, going down, text size medium. Um, that's for the title, that's what I have. You can change the text size if you want it really big or really small. Alignment, left, right, or center of any text that you have there. And then metadata position, that's the title that included in here. And so I said I wanted it below the content. You could put the title above the content as well. So in the last uh, option tab we have here is the display. And the top thing is number of items. 30 is the max that you can display in any summary block, whether a blog or a product. So most people just keep that set at, at 30. And then you can choose what you want to display. So you can see I have the title shown and I have the thumbnail image shown and that's all I have. If I wanted the excerpt for each blog post, I could put that in there and then it gives a little excerpt into intro into the blog post. You can also put the read more link right there. So it gives you all these styling options um, that you can choose exactly how you want your page to look. You can also choose what metadata, if you want to put like the date on there, or if you have a blog with multiple authors, you can choose to put the author, categories, tags. You can choose that other metadata, which is just be like small text underneath what, what the other stuff you chose. And then you also have the option to filter by category or by tags. And we'll go into the blog page and I'll show you where you can add those. But this comes really handy if, say you blog about a couple different topics. Say you blog about nutrition and yoga and home organization maybe. So you have like three distinct topics that you blog on. You would have those blog posts all cat tagged as um, with a, one, of those fil one of those filter categories. So then you could come in and you could build your blog page. You could do one summary block. You could put a title above it and say, these are all the posts on nutrition. And then you could filter by nutrition and then it would just show your, your nutrition um, posts. Then below that, you could put another text block that said, these are all my posts on yoga. And then you could filter by yoga and put another summary block there. So these, this is really handy, being able to filter by category and tags for if you want to organize your blog a little bit better. Okay, so I'll take you in my actual blog page and show you those couple of things really quick. So if you're using the blog summary method of displaying on your blog page, there's a couple things that you need to do that you might not have already done when you initially wrote the post. So we're going to edit into this post. I will show you what I mean. Okay, if you just wrote a blog post and you just made this page look good and you published it, that is all fine and good if you've got like what Janet's got right now and they're all just displayed the full post. But if you're using the summary block method, you need to go up to this options tab up top and you need to add in the thumbnail image. And that's where this that, that summary block is pulling that thumbnail image in is right here. It's not gonna pull it from the post. I have it uploaded in two places on this post because I'm using the same image there. You don't even have to have it in your main post, but whatever's the thumbnail image right here that's uploaded right here, that's what's gonna show on that blog summary page. And then the next thing you might wanna consider adding is an excerpt, and I usually just like copy the first line or two of my blog post and put it in here. But if your blog style, if you want the excerpt to show, then this is where it's gonna pull it from there. It's not gonna automatically pull it from your actual blog post itself. So these are the two things you need to add in there to get those options actually available to you on the blog summary post. And then back in the content tab down at the bottom are tags and categories. So categories, think of this as categories being um, the big topics that you're going to talk about. Like I mentioned, um, nutrition, yoga, home, home organization, if your blog was kind of about that. Um, you can put those categories in. Tags are just a little more kind of minor things. Um, I think of tags as like 
you know, if it was around the holidays, you might put that in there, um, where, you know, a post around the holidays could apply to any of those three categories. So, but you might want to wait a, a way somehow to pull out, like, here's all my posts about holidays, you know, three years from now when you've been blogging for a while. Um, another example of a um, filter might be, or a tag might be, um, you know, say you, you're pregnant and so you're expecting a baby and so you've got a bunch of posts that are talking about that, but that's not a main topic of your blog. It just happened to be the phase of life you're going through. You might want to tag all those with, you know, expecting mother so that you could pull out a page and just put all those posts on a page to be available in the future for when you, you know, maybe have a service offering that's about that. You can, you can pull out that content really easily. So think about your categories and your tags um, when you've you know, gotten you know, maybe a dozen posts in. You can go back and, and categorize those. You're never quite sure exactly what you're going to be blogging out about. But if you have a plan for your blog, you might have an idea. Um, but go ahead and, and try and keep up with those early on because if, once you get 100 posts, it's going to be a lot harder to go back and then categorize, categorize them all. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you want an organized blog at some point. So hope that um, answers some questions about how to do a blog. Here's another example um, of a blog summary block. And we used a blog. This is actually her press page. So we used a blog just to um, display all the, and if you click into it, you'll see the actual article that she was mentioned in, but display all the covers. Um, you know, it's not, not a typical blog content at all, but it's, you know, a media or a press page. So there's another way you can use blog summary blocks. Um, so I hope that all answers some questions on how you can use blog summary blocks to stylize your blog page and give yourself some other options for displaying your posts and your content. Thanks, and I'll talk to you next time.